let's take a look at equity and expectancy theory in compensation. Equity theory explains that an individual's satisfaction with her, his or her job is largely, but not wholly, determined by the person's perception of the fairness of the balance between contributions made by the individual and the rewards received from the organization. To appreciate the significance of equity theory, the weighting of contributions and rewards, consider the foundations and nature of this balance. Its basis is the presumed link between performance and pay, and its dynamic is how or whether this linkage operates. Well, equity theory examines the effect of perceived fairness on satisfaction, expectancy theory examines the role of individual perceptions in determining behavior and offers insights into the choices that people make. In terms of inducing behavior, it includes what is offered, what is likely to be provided, and what is valued by recipients. Its tenants are a three-link casual chain. The value, or valence, the employee attaches to the desired result, like higher pay. The worker's belief that rewards will actually be provided as a consequence of high performance, known as instrumentality, and the employee's understanding or expectancy that he or she can successfully accomplish the tasks that will lead to reward. Stated differently, the theory assumes that people take action based on their perception of possible success that the action, expectancy, and the likelihood of achieving the outcomes, instrumentality that they value, valiance. If any of the three links in this chain is weak, then the success of the pay program is reduced. Although most people value money, valiance, there are also often significant constraints on their obtaining more of it. When local, state, or national legislative bodies regularly limit pay raises to inconsequential amounts, for example, the importance attached to those amounts is devalued. Expectancy theory can be an effective diagnostic tool to ensure that the human resource management system is administered in a manner that coherently establishes linkage among valence, instrumentality, and expectancy. Equity and expectancy theories mandate that policymakers be concerned about more than the absolute amount of money required. They must also focus on competitive and comparative levels of pay and how those monies are distributed. Reward systems unconnected to productivity indicators motivate poor workers to stay and high performers to become discouraged and leave. The irony of such a situation is that overall compensation costs rise because more employees are needed to complete tasks that fewer conscientious ones could readily accomplish.